Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have this. Mulatto talking crazy on camera. G Herbo caught out there in Mexico. Lil, the mother of Lil Baby's baby. I knew she was coming around the cut. And Cardi B and her divorce. Hey yo. Thanks again for tuning in to Celeb Source. If this is your first time to the channel, you see where you see where that subscribe button is right there? Go on, touch it. Yo, hit the notification bell icon so you can be first in line when we drop this celeb news. Then share it with your peoples. They'll thank you for making their lives better. Yo, trust me. Hey, yo, shout out to Vincent Richardson seeing us in the comment section. Salute. Gerald Wells and KA's KA's World did a wellness check on Celeb Source. Yo, we see y'all and appreciate that. Yo, salute and big up to Jasmine Bailey who came through in the comment section and said, yo, you could try to make it work for the kids, but after a while, enough is enough. Plus, what does a child see? Their mother and their father going through hell trying to keep something toxic going. Close quote. That, that's what she said. Now, my pops told me at one time, the only reason he stuck around was because of me. Yo, that pushed my self-worth through the roof, Jasmine. I don't know. My solution, stay together, close your mouth. I think if couples did that, people would be better off. Now, first on deck, Mulatto. Not to be confused with Saweetie or Dream Doll or Danny Lee. I tell you, if one of them clapped at me, right? And I had to pick out which one did it in a police lineup, it'd be like picking out Jackie Chan amongst... Forget it. That's ignorant. Your girl Mulatto. That's right. Your girl, right? N number one off the rip. And I ain't saying she's number one. I'm saying off top. Her name choice sucks, right? Now, I mean, maybe it's me, right? And I, I'm completely open to that. But there is a pretentiousness in her name. M maybe it's the current times. You like pretentiousness? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, don't feel bad. I had to look it up myself. I knew I wanted to use the word, but I wasn't quite sure what it meant. So I looked it up. Something told me it applied to her. A pretentious person would... <laughs> Be someone that told you that they deserve a table in a crowded restaurant because of who they are. You follow me? You're like, well, <laughs> there's all kinds of pretentious people out there. Yeah, yeah. But I'm talking about mulatto. Your girl was getting her hair did, right? Presumably by her friend slash hairstylist or whatever. Matter of fact, take a listen, then tell me in the comments below if it's me. Probably swallow me, drip down, sound me. <laughs> Yeah, this is my assistant and my hairstylist and my best friend <laughs> and, and my pet fucking orangutan. Is it me? Yo, notice the order of the description, right? This is my assistant and my hairstylist and my best friend and my pet effing orangutan, close quote. Yo, that ain't normal terminology. I don't care what you say, right? Just don't come up with that. You think on that, you, you say it a couple of times at various times in your mind, then you drop it out loud, you know? Because out of the overflow of the heart, the mouth speaks. What comes out your face is what's been sitting on your heart, man. Yo, alcohol just makes it come out a little bit faster. But that's why I don't drink, you know what I'm saying? But I mean, I mean, no one would like me, right? <laughs> they, they'd be like, yo, you're so nasty and dirty and mean. You, you ugly on the inside. You see what I'm saying? Because <laughs> I'm slightly handsome on the outside. Anyway, Mulatto. I almost forgot what I was doing here. Later on in the clip, the stylist slash assistant slash friend told the artist she was almost done with her hair. And Mulatto replies by saying, your coochie is well done. Close quote. I mean, she didn't use those quite words like that. I mean, she didn't use the word coochie, but you know, family channel, y'all. Excuse me, though? <laughs> well, I mean, what the hell is that supposed to mean? I'm sorry. Uh, we've been abused and <laughs> for far too long, and I'm hypersensitive as a result. Do you mean well done like Doc? Yo, I can take it, right? If I was the only one thinking, it's colorism. But social media felt the same way as I do. Yo, one person named Black Women Matter commented saying, quote, I mean, what did y'all expect from a woman named Mulatto? Another commenter said, uh, this is by the name of Cass, quote, not a mixed woman proudly calls herself Mulatto calling her dark skinned friend slash assistant her pet orangutan, close quote. And another commenter by the name of Joy said, quote, Mulatto, a colorist bully, and her white side was showing today. She was literally making fun of her friend for no reason. Also, her ugly little sister is a problem too. Pretty sure they grow up with thinking because they're mixed that they're prettier, which is never the case. Close quote. Incredible. Yo, I'm disgusted. You know what I'm saying? I mean, 
it be your own people. G Herbo, apparently, must have had his passport returned. I mean, at least that's what I'm hoping, because your boy found himself in Mexico. Bo man, I know. A apparently, he's got the balls of a brass monkey. Does anywhere on the planet want to see us at this point? I barely want to see us. Your boy found himself in Mexico. He was stopped by the police. There too? They checked him or, or something like that and caught your mans with two ounces of weed. Bruh. Word? Herbo said the following. He said, quote, 10 minutes into the trip, soon as I land, these bees just went in all my ish and just found two zips. Hey, you about to go to jail, boy. How much money you got on you? I don't know why I gave him a, a white southern accent, but whatever. No cap. I just gave him $2,000, all American, so that's really $20,000 out here. And they just finessed the F out of me. They said, oh yeah? They told me they found Tana weed pen. I don't know what that is. They took all my weed. I'm mad as hell. I'm finna get so damn drunk this trip now. They took the doink. Close quote. Then he later on posts, hey bro, you know they took a lot of weed from me at the airport. They took it. Uh, this is when his ladies are asking him, what's wrong? You know they took a lot of weed from me at the airport. They took it. I'm stressed out. Close quote. Yeah, you told us this already, bro. Okay, now, <laughs> we know you got jacked, man. You went to Mexico. It's real out there, in, in case ain't nobody told you. Y you got the money? Come on back. Because, <laughs> I mean, I don't smoke re weed, right? But if I did, and I just got to Mexico, and they took my doink, I'm going right to the lady at the booth and catching the first flight back. Yo, we're going to try this again next week. Hey, yo, didn't I tell you after I reported that story about Lil Baby professing his love for his lady, Jada, or as he put it, waiter? Remember? And then I said, I mean, I, I hate to quote me, but Celeb said, watch his BM come out from behind the bushes. Well, guess who was lurking? Celeb was right. Yo, the mother of Lil Baby's child. That's right. I don't like to say baby mama. It sounds ghetto like Jerry Springer. The mother of his child threw a birthday party for Lil Baby's kid, right? The, the younger baby, the younger kid, he grabbed a mic and performed in front of his friends, his classroom friends or whatever, yada yada. Following in dad's footsteps, okay, respect. His mom posted the video, yeah, yeah, it was cute. Now, someone came through in the comments section and said, quote, it would have been nice if his dad, at Lil Baby, would have supported him. It's sad, my shorty, you did your thing. Close quote. Now, the child's mother saw the bait and it was just too tempting. She quickly responded to it by saying, quote, all that matters is that my son is happy. I don't care about petty childish mad behind people and their sucker moves. I'm going to always stand behind mine. And there isn't a man or woman that could change that. And that's the difference. And I plan on instilling the real in my son. As long as I breed a real man out this situation, I could truly care less about anything else. Close quote. <laughs> Little baby up until now, he still hasn't responded. And I truly hope he doesn't okay the situation is sensitive talk amongst yourselves you follow what i'm saying and finally cardi b and offset getting a divorce yeah we know devastating news we here at celeb source hate divorce or the breakup of family structure now as you already knew twitter was livid folks said cardi and offset getting divorced Cardi and Offset getting divorced? Wow, did not see this one coming at all. Now, someone else came through and said, Cardi should have never married Offset in the first place. His behind been trash. He's the one who belongs to the streets. Close quote. Now, according to insider information, right? Sources have revealed what may have led to the split. They said, quote, Cardi does not trust Offset. What? That's crazy, yo. Yo, let me continue. She's really, she's really tried for the last two years and has tried to forgive him. It's been hard for her since the last cheating scandal and there have been rumors of him being unfaithful again. He has been pleading with her that he hasn't, but many girls have come forward with claims and she had enough and decided to file. Wants to be a good example for her daughter and women out there. Close quote. Now, wait a minute. I know she's not filing on the strength 
of these girls coming forward saying they've been with the man. That's like the team here at Celeb Source saying, oh, well, we've been with her. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's a poor example. In, in other words, we not we shouldn't be going off of people's words with a lack of evidence. We're not going off of people's words with a lack of evidence, are we? I mean, hopefully your boy could get the situation squared away and prove to her that he has not been unfaithful since the last time they stumbled down this road. <laughs> now, although the divorce document stated that Cardi is seeking full custody of the couple's daughter, culture. <sighs> I thought culture was a boy. What, what up? TMZ reports that Cardi is amending her petition so that she and Offset can share joint custody. Now, word on the street is this. Cardi B's lawyer filed the documents on her behalf and they added that she wanted legal custody and primary physical custody of the two-year-old culture. Close quote. But sources have mentioned that Cardi didn't know that her lawyer would include those conditions and she is looking to make this divorce as painless as possible. Additionally, she is seeking child support for her and Offset's only child together, but she does not want any spousal support, a la Dr. Dre's wife. Don't get us started with that. And hey, yo, let us know what you think. Do you think Cardi's past, this, this is what I'm thinking, right? In my head, psychologically, right? Do you think Cardi's past, you know, her past life, you know, like the past relationships, man, I don't really wanna get into details, right? Do you think that past life is having or had a psychological effect on her in her marriage? I mean, imagine, right? If I did things with people's wives in my past, wouldn't I suspect that karma would come back like a freight train? Yo, let us know what you think. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, keep the couple in your prayers. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news.